Hello, I'm back. <laughs> Sounds like one-liner, but... Um, yeah, well, so yesterday um, I played with all this uh, aluminum uh, stuff and such. <laughs> I... Uh, oh yeah, I, I didn't... Uh, well, I, I put it in this video. I uh, did some uh, windings and such. Well, you see it in the video. Ooh, this is so fragile. This is gonna take ages. It's also because it's a small panel uh, and there's a lot of turns to be made. It kind of sucks. Puss, what are you eating? This is, this is definitely not fun. Uh, in my normal tweeters, they're at least really long. So, I would would have been halfway my big tweeters by now. But for this one, it's actually quite a lot of I don't think they do it like this at Bags Not Pen. <laughs> this one is completely off. Let's try another method. Maybe I could roll it out. No, I don't know. Well, I am almost there. Let's just finish it. Ooh, almost snapped it. Ah, shit, I was afraid of that. Thanks, pussycat. <laughs> you got it. <laughs> You're all wrapped around it. Puss. Ow! Fucking hell. <laughs> yeah, my ow. Puss. Ow, oh, fuck she. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Puss. I was afraid that would happen. She really likes it. But the thing is, I'm not so sure how good it is if you eat aluminum foil, pussycat. Okay, I'm gonna play with the cut. Yeah. Yeah. Gonna take a look tomorrow in the shop for um, pets if they got something shiny um, which looks like wires or something because she's she's she is loving wires in general so I'm gonna solder it up and then see what it does too bad I didn't manage to finish it but well let's see what the resistance is boop no, you cannot eat these wires. 1.1 1 .1 ohm. My amplifier will love it, love it, love it, love it, love it, love it, love it. Love it. And then, uh, well, yeah, uh, I connected it to my amp. I wanted to test it, what the difference was, but uh, I forgot that the volume was set quite high. There was no uh, capacitor uh, in the in the line, and uh, also um, when when the USB uh, dock powers up, I think it puts out some DC or something because uh, it was fireworks. And this is how uh, my panel looked. So it, it really toasted through through the mylar, um, even the this broke and, and well, it was... Uh, so after much effort, it blew up in a second. I didn't even have a time to test it. So this one is um, going to the bin. So because today, because uh, I did make a new one and uh, the results, after all this effort, the results were not that great. There's still a peak at 15K and it does, well, it does reach to 20K then, but this peak, it might be the magnet structure uh, in the way. I don't know. It's not. I don't know. I don't like it at all. Uh, it does sound good, by the way. So, in the measurements, it doesn't look that good. It does sound good, and I have several people um, for a listen here, and nobody is mentioning uh, this peak, and also not the. It doesn't extend to twenty k. Um, nobody uh, bothers. 
they do sound good so they just don't measure as well that's too bad I would like to measure uh, measure it a little bit better than than it does at the moment but uh, yeah well that's not the point of this video well it might be because I thought let's let's throw together a few um, electrostatic tweeters uh, because I wanted to see uh, how well it performs with very cheap transformers and if it's loud enough to um, to be as loud as the panel I might make a hybrid once not in this panel this panel is good as is and I'm gonna probably sell it but what do we need what do we need so I'm gonna make a very basic panel uninsulated as well so be careful so we've got two metal plates um, first of all they're fatty so we have to clean it second of all is that one side feels rough one side feels smooth it's because the punch it punched the holes like this so this is the soft side and this is where the burrs are the word I couldn't find yesterday by the way so and this is the soft side so that's something you have to keep in mind when you build them you are gonna do the soft side on the inside because the burst might sp well spark or make an arc or uh, it's it's the, the first place a high voltage will uh, tend to make ozone or whatever so uh, that's one thing but we need this metal so I got two pieces of metal I am not gonna make make this wide panel because dispersion will be uh, crappy because you cannot segment it because it's a metal plate so I'm probably do rather wide spacer strips so uh, only this this piece will play uh, the shitty thing about using metal in this case is that it still counts it's like a capacitor and still this complete surface area is um, is counting as a capacitor On, also if you only use like this tiny piece as a tweeter because this metal is still or these two metal plates are still putting like this so it's about this whole surface area the transformer will see this whole surface area as a, a capacitor but we only use a small strip so it's not ideal normally you would cut this metal in two and then use this strip that halves the capacity would be better way better but yeah in this case I'll use it as is and uh, we just have to keep in mind that it sees twice the capacity it actually needs to see so when we uh, choose uh, or try random transformers or cheap ways of, of making a tweeter we have to keep in mind that it's actually it could be as well twice as long the tweeter and it would give you the same results for the transformer so this is a way of uh, making just one small panel and uh, and see if the transformer works it's also because this is the metal I had laying around and I don't feel like uh, cutting it no not 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 well, looking forward to that so I'm not gonna do it so we have metal then we need some spacing material in this case I go really thin and this is a phenolic it's, it looks a bit like HPL kind of it's phenolic resin with uh, I think paper <coughs> it insulates very well and this is very thin half a millimeter and um, well we can uh, cut it on a normal uh, paper um, guillotine thing I think I hope at least it should be possible if this doesn't work then I'll go back to polystyrene or whatever another plastic so these two parts we need we need some wires a soldering iron with enough power to be able to uh, solder a lead to this metal plate uh, some wires I already said and then we need some coating and I'm gonna think I will use an off-the-shelf coating for now 
or I might brew one like really simple with some paint supplies why not because in this case it's gonna be used as tweeter we don't need a very high resistance coating uh, if you want to, um, for low end, it is usually uh, far better to do uh, to use a high resistance coating because uh, the distortion will benefit. In the high frequency department, it's not nearly not as important. So I uh, might just use um, a low resistance coating that stays there and not disappear after a month or or after two years. But we'll see. I might use a. Uh, commercial product, not sure yet. Um, I heard my um, oven do a ping, so I'm gonna eat first. See you in a bit.